Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I will be covering how to create a Hackintosh using Unibeast, which is a free um, Mac application that allows you to put a Mac in um, OS X installer onto a USB flash drive of 8 gigabytes or more. So for this video, what you're going to need is first you'll need a computer that can um, that you'll need a Mac, I guess. Um, the reason being, you'll need to use something called Disk Utility to format your USB flash drive. You will not be editing anything on the Mac. All you'll be doing is formatting your um, USB drive and putting the installer onto it. An easy way to accomplish this is to um, is to actually get an OS X installation and create a virtual machine that can um, run OS X like you know, just like just the base of it. Because um, Disk Utility is part of um, uh, Macintosh's uh, default applications so you'll just need that and you'll need this um, to run an application called Unibeast right here that will create the um, installer so it's bootable on Windows computers so besides a Macintosh computer you need a PC that you'll be able to put a um, to put Mac on and in this case I mean you can either dual boot which means you can run both Mac and Windows or you can just have um, Mac by itself. If you want to use both, you'll have to partition, which I'll show you. Or if you don't, you'll have to um, format the whole drive in the installer, which will be in another video. In this video will be creating a USB and creating everything we need before the installation. And I'll show you how to do every part of that. And besides that, you need a USB drive of 8 gigabytes or more. It has to be at least 8 gigabytes and I'm using a PNY 8GB flash drive right here mine's just named install Yosinemi and that's about it okay so let's begin now plug in your USB flash drive into your Mac here is my actually this is my Hackintosh and um, plug it in and wait for it to load and once it does open up disk utility you can do that by simply going here into the um, spotlight search and typing in disk utility I have it open though, so it pops up right here. And this is my, which this is my actual hard drive on my computer, and this is my USB. So go to USB right here, and you'll see I have stuff on it, which is actually the installer itself. And so what you'll have to do is click here, and click erase. Now, which you make sure you um, back up all your things on your flash drive first, because you will not be able to use this on a um, Windows computer because it won't recognize it. Reason being is when we um, format it, we're going to format it to Mac OS X Extended Journaled, the first option right here, and name it whatever you want. I just, I'm just calling mine Install Yosemite, and you'll just click Erase. And um, I'm not going to do it because I'm I don't want to erase mine because I have actually stuff on there, like the installer already. But you want to erase that and just go through with it, wait for it to erase, and once you are done, go back to here. You'll want to go to Partition here and one partition now we can name it whatever we want um, I'm like you can call yours install you cinema or I'm putting mine install whatever and we want the format to be Mac OS X extended journaled make sure that's that and um, cause that's very important or else you won't be able to even put it on and just put the max size I mean yeah, this is the only thing you'll have on here, really. And once you do that, click Options right here before you actually make it. And make sure it's Master Boot Record. This is so it can um, boot up on a Windows computer, or I mean like on a um, PC, that is. So once you do that, click Apply. And the partition will be created, and you should be done with the disk utility. You can then X, X out of that. Or, oops, I meant close. Now, next thing we'll be doing is we're going to be using the Unibeast. So now you should have a um, blank flash drive that is Mac OS X extended journaled, yeah, with nothing on it. Um, next thing you want to do is go and download something called Unibeast. I'll have the link in the description. And what this is, is it will create the USB drive and put um, the installer on it and oh, before you do that actually make sure you have the um, Yosemite downloaded 
So you would click download. It's pretty long, so you have to wait a bit. But um, wait for it to download. And once it downloads, in your applications folder, there should be something called install OSX Yosemite. And you'll be using that for Unibeast. So we'll go here, open up Unibeast, and, um, and then just go through the installation. Make sure you have OSX. Um, we already created the USB drive with disk utility. And now we're going to create a bootable USB drive. You're going to agree with everything. And mine won't work because um, I have stuff on mine, so it doesn't have anything free. But once you do, all you do is go to your Applications folder and click Install OSX Yosemite App. And then make sure it goes to your correct USB flash drive. And it'll take a bit. It's going to put all the files onto there. And it, it takes like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, because it's a really big file and it's moving it onto a flash drive and it's extracting it too, I think, to make it bootable for Windows. And after that, um, X, um, finish that, click close, and um, we'll go to our next step. Now, now we're going to be using something called Multi Beast. Now, your flash drive is ready to um, install and everything, but we need to um, we need this application called multi piece multi beast for Yosemite, and what this will do is it's going to install like drivers that are very important for your computer, in the sense that um, I mean naturally if you want to install Mac OS X it's not going to recognize a lot of things because naturally it's only um, uh, what you call it it's only made for Macintosh computers, and so it'll be confused. So this will make it not confused, I guess you could say, and um, yeah, so we'll download this. I'll have this in the description as well. And what we're all we're gonna do is we're gonna um, put it onto our flash drive. Literally, just drag it on there. I mean, I don't need this. I'm not sure why this is here. But anyways, um, yeah, we'll um, just drag it onto here. This is what it looks like. I mean, if it was on my desktop or something like here, you would just drag it onto here, along with this um these applications it won't affect anything in the installation and after that you're done and you'll go on to the next step of the process which is um, you'll turn off your computer put in the flash drive um, change your bio settings and then boot with your USB flash drive and go with the installation and that will be in my next video which I will publish shortly thank you for watching and good luck to all of you Hackintosh installers